So today I got hit with a STD, Satisfying Things Day. Where last night I went out for drinking and then in the middle of the night today, I woke up and there was a cold water bottle next to me. Even though I had four different drinks last night, I woke up with absolutely no headache, which is a first. And I had my morning coffee, had one of those shits where it scratches your butthole. I opened Twitter and I saw Johnny Somali getting punched in the face and my day was complete. I was watching the video of him getting punched in the bathroom even though I could not feel my legs. I could feel the satisfaction when the guy did it. Even though it's not the first time we saw Johnny Somali get punched, but this time it, it, it just felt different. It just... The satisfaction was even more after King Joffrey from Game of Thrones fucking died. Let me show you the video. I'm having, we're going to have a, trust me, Johnny's, go to Johnny's room, we're going to have a good time. Uh. Whoa! Mr. Johnny's last words were very wholesome. We're going to have a great night, but our Korean, South Korean champion Fist had different plans for him. Now, I made a video about him like a couple of days ago about Johnny Somali. And I gave you a background on this donkey as well, where he travels to different countries and he just disrespects the culture. Tr just tries to get on news articles as much as you can, do the most degenerate stuff, disrespect them, be racist. You Chinese ass bitch. And on his latest trip, he decided to pay a visit to South Korea because North Korea, if he went and he did all this shit over there, he would have been tickled by Jing Wang, King Jong Un to death. And we talked about the degenerate shit that he was doing to the Statue of Peace, impregnating it, oiling it up like Diddy, dancing for it, thinking that it was funny because the people who watch him as well, they're very degenerate. And I'm pretty sure most of them want to see him get arrested or even get unalived 100% because they the whole idea behind it is they put a he puts up a donation whatever dare he wants to do you have to donate this much and once we get the, to the threshold i'm going to do this there shakalaka boom boom the statue of peace 300 dollars just like um we call it over here sharmuta and just like a donkey does the most degenerate stuff because any clout is good clout that is his mentality which led to a lot of controversy arrests fines and eating people's punches hell no hell no hell no bring your back here boy what the f no problem with you? hit me hit me no as you can see donkey number two which is his cameraman which he was very pissed he was very he felt very disrespected that he wasn't backing his boy uh, donkey number one so he decided to throw up some words by the way this whole thing they only throw words nothing happens as you can see he approached the guy and it was like bring your ass back here you donkey you touch me i touch you you never touch me i touch and the camera gets absolutely taken away from him and he does Nothing. It's on camera. It's on camera. Four eyes, big ass. Keep walking, pussy. Keep walking. Keep walking. It's on camera. You better get your phone. Yo, give him his phone. Give him his phone. Give him his phone. Bro, get Johnny. Oh shit, we got this nigga. Mr. Donkey, what did you get? The only thing you got was a cut eyebrow and the walk of shame. You saw that? He still got the phone? No, he got you through it. We got you. What's up? We got you. What's up? What's up? Why are you running away? Why are you walking away? Why you gotta sneak like that? We got you. D try it again, let's go. Try it again, let's go. Why are you walking away? 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 What's up? We got your face. Pull up. I swear to God. I swear, I swear to God. Try it, nigga. I swear to God. Yeah, walk away, nigga. I swear to God. Try it. What's up? You're walking away. You want to see? What's up? Come back. What's up? What's up? 
What's up? As you can see, Somali's brain wasn't functioning before and it malfunctioned once again. And the only words that is coming out of his mouth is, what's up? He's chasing him. He's like, what's up? Do something. Do. He turns back. The guy runs away and he's like, try it. I, I, I dare you try it. And he's like fucking far away. He's just walking away from this whole situation. <laughs> the Korean champion actually got super lucky because every time he turned back to answer his what's ups a genie and a ghost hold somali back push him away because they don't want him to go to jail for hurting this guy so bad what's up what's up i go to jail tonight bitch. I mean, we got your face already we got your face right now what's up why are you walking away i swear to god pull up nigga i swear to god i, I swear to god look at this nigga nigga running away nigga. I swear to God. He threw my phone. Wait. You got your phone? One, qu one question. Just so he threw my phone. It's on camera. All I saw it. No, not. I didn't see him throw it. Trust me, you're not in. You got your shit, you know? But I'm asking you a legal question. Bitch ass nigga. If he you got threw your my shit. phone and it's on camera. We got this. I swear to now, God. If I sue him, he has to pay for that, right? Mr. Cameraman, no one is going to pay you for your camera, and they went over, you know, a couple of people. They even uh, teamed up with a. Uh, south korean friend as well that they had i have no idea why this guy is friends with somali but they asked him a question what's going to happen since we have all this on camera and since they hit me he said that the guy is going to be fined around a thousand thousand five hundred dollars fuck it i'll pay that thousand thousand five hundred dollars it was worth it i actually don't have thousand five hundred dollars but if i had i would have paid for it and it would be worth it i don't think the authorities are going to do anything about it they're going to be they're going to give the guy a medal they're going to pay the guy for punching johnny somali now this donkey goes on and says i actually don't care i got i get punched a lot i don't care about this at all but throughout the whole stream the whole two hour video that he posted non-stop he is talking about it he is saying the things he's going to do he's so lucky that uh, you know a, a ghost was holding me or else i would have shot talked them he's a bitch for sneaking up on me meanwhile the guy is walking towards him like twice and he just jumped back and he told them come closer if, you, if you're a man come closer the guy comes closer he goes even further i've been punched so many times in the face it's like it is what it is, I don't care. He 100% went home that night, thought about the whole thing, even dreamed about him getting punched and throughout his head he was like, I should have done this, I should have done 110%. Now you think now the satisfying part ends, okay, he got punched, blah, 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 that's done. Well, the night is not over yet. He went to the police station the same night, I believe, and he wanted to report the guy to the police. And another guy, another streamer showed up, another South Korean streamer, and this just started to troll the fuck out of him. Digger, 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 digger. Digger, 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 <laughs> you. Yeah. Why? 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 Okay, you face, face it. Okay. Say it to my face. Okay. You're lucky, cop. Uh, he is definitely 100% very lucky that the police officer would that was there, or the things he was gonna do to him were brutal. He was gonna tell him, "What's up? Come close to me, you bitch." He goes on. If you can hear it at the back as well, Johnny Somali. He he said that. He is saying racial slurs. Why are you not doing anything? The amount of racist shit that Johnny has done over the past couple of months, even years, on the countries that he's been been to, the f irony. F you Chinese ass bitch. I can't actually tell if he's stupid or super. St what the fuck? I can't actually tell if he's stupid or super super stupid. You do all this shit, but when someone does it to you, oh my god, you can, you're not going to do anything. I will cancel you. I'll post this clip and cancel South Korea. The comment section from the last video we talked about Johnny came to life. The, the, the racism came out, out of them. And honestly, the one person who deserves it is Johnny Somali. Today has been an absolute great day. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Anyways, just wanted to talk about it. There's also another video that he got jumped, but this one is a little bit more brutal. I'm not going to be showcasing it. Anyways, as usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like it, subscription it if you're new here. Take it easy. I will see you at the next one.